<clears throat> so what is up everyone, Jay Flores here And for today's episode, kasi last week I've ordered something from Lazada Or was that Shopee? I forgot It's gonna make your mirrorless camera feel like a full frame or even better I'm talking about this the Viltrox EF to EOS M2. Let's roll that intro. Go. Okay, so before we start, I just want to remind everyone that we have an ongoing giveaway, and then the prize will be a Boya MM1 shotgun microphone, a mini shotgun microphone. So if you're interested in winning that, please view the link down in the description box. Okay, let's continue. So last week, yun nga, I've ordered something from um, um, from Lazada or from Shopee. That is the Viltrox EF EOS M2. This is an adapter that will make your mirrorless camera, per se mine is the M50, adapt to the full frame lenses of Canon, which is the EF mounts. So last week, pinahiram ako na si Rex Pao ng isang full frame na lens, which is I'm using right now, the 16 to 35 f4L. Ngayon is normal adapter lang yan. Still Viltrox, pero not a speed booster. Now, this speed booster, as they say, it will turn the full frame lens into a so-so full frame talaga on a EFM mount which is supposedly not because there's a 1.6 crop with this camera. With the speed booster, it will lessen that crop like big time like 0.07 times I guess. So instead of having this 16 to 35 being on a normal adapter sa M series nyo, this is gonna be equivalent to 24 to maybe 40-ish focal length pero now with the speed booster, it's gonna get closer to 18 to 36 7 or 38. So later on, let's discuss about the pros and cons of having this speed booster. Pero now, magswi-switch tayo from the normal adapter to this speed booster. Okay? Be, be right I'll be I'll be right back. So now we're back. What you're seeing is the 16 to 35 f4 with the speed booster of Viltrox. And now it is much wider. Well, it's not as wide as a full frame camera. Kung ikakabit yun to, pero it is much better than the normal adapter. Now is we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this camera. Let's just go for the pros first. First, this is the closest thing that you can get para maka full frame kayo if you really want a full frame camera and do not have the money to get one yet. Might as well get this adapter and you can mount the EF lenses which is the full frame lenses Which is for me is way better than getting a full frame camera as of now Kasi pandemic tapos wala tayong pera lahat Well ewan ko sayo basta ako wala akong pera So might as well just get this adapter if you're into really you know full frame videoing photography or I don't really know The second one is it drops down your aperture to 2.8 I mean 2.8 isn't that just... Because this lens is just up to f4. But with the speed booster, bababa siya until 2.8. So the light's gonna be brighter. The bokeh is gonna be better. I don't know how do they do the math. Because f4 minus 2.8, that's negative 12. No, that's not negative. That's 12. And then if you're gonna do 1.8 minus 1.2, that's just minus 6. So I don't, I don't really know how do they do the math with this one. The third pro is subjective. Because for me, I do not want to invest on EFM mount lenses. Because you know why? Right now, Canon is gearing up towards their RF lenses, which is the mirrorless and then full frame pa. And then you cannot use those EFM mounts to RF bodies or even EF bodies. So there's no adapter, you know, vice versa. I mean, for this, the mirrorless, may mga adapter for RF, may mga adapter for, for EF, EFS. For RF, I'm not sure, ah. correct me if I'm wrong. You cannot do the other way around. Nam bibili ka ng sang katutak na M lenses and then you just put it into your RF body or EF body or even I don't know what body into your body. Basta yun nga. I advise you not to invest on EFM lenses kasi in time I'm sure you will upgrade and then I don't know with Canon pero yung mga RF lenses yung pinatataas sila ngayon. So that's the third pro. So before we proceed to the cons, magsa-sample image muna tayo. I'm just going to put some images right 
right here. I'm gonna be out of camera in a bit. So the first image is shot sa M50 with the 16 to 35 f4 at 35 millimeters, and then the next image is shot on a 16 to 35 with a speed booster that's up to 2.8 now at 35 millimeters. So I think it won't add up because iba yung focal range on an APS-C sensor. So just look at these images right now and then let me know what you think. For the video, you've seen naman, kanina we were at the normal adapter and then now the speed booster. So last, last part, so I hope you're still there. I'm gonna mention the cons. The cons is, maybe there's just one or two, a couple. First is you're gonna sacrifice some of the sharpness of the quality of your shot of the lens but there's always a solution in post if you can edit it bump up the sharpness or the clarity or whatever i think i'm gonna do that but it's not that noticeable so i don't think that's really a con considering the pros this is the major con con because it's just one the battery will drain like really hard super hard the m50's battery is just it's it sucks just keep that in mind that the battery even if you're not using it it's gonna drain very 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 fast with the with the p one solution is if you're not using your camera just might as well remove the the lens and then just mount another lens the second is remove the battery i think that removing the battery if you're not using it is the easiest solution so let me sum this up if you have an efm mount body might as well get this speed booster because it will open up your camera into a whole new world kumbaga imagine just my, my biggest pro is that turning an f4 into a 2.8 imagine having per se a 24 to 105 f4 l lens on this one it's gonna be a 24 to 105 f 2.8 on this one so that is it for today again i shall remind you there's an ongoing giveaway right now the link will be down below never forget to subscribe hit that right there i need some subscribers because we're aiming for 200 right now i hope you like this one i hope i'm gonna see you again the next time around yeah that is it god bless stay safe peace